Welcome back to Not Real Fishing, everybody. And today we are going to be fishing a spot that I have not been to yet. It's just a little roadside creek. It looks really small, really shallow. But there was another spot similar to this that I tried, which you guys haven't seen yet. And I will say next week's videos are going to be pretty good because I caught what was close to, if not maybe, my PB bluegill. I didn't measure it, so I'm not 100% sure, but. It was huge and i'll say next tuesday's tinkar video it's going to be a little slow at first but i would definitely recommend waiting to the end because that's when i get the the bigger bluegill and that's definitely worth it to me but it's up to y'all you can cut out whenever you want but uh today we're gonna go fish a little creek uh we're gonna be doing some cane poling with this setup we have a mystery tackle box to open while we're there as well so hopefully it gives us some stuff that'll help us out but uh yeah Hope y'all enjoy the video and I'll meet y'all at the water. All right guys, we're just getting to this spot. And of course, when we get here, within just a few minutes of arriving, it starts to rain. So, this is the spot. It looks pretty good, to be honest. It just looks a little wet because it's raining, of course. So, what we might do is do the unboxing in the car, because it's just sprinkling. If it picks up anymore, we might do the unboxing in the car. We're gonna be using a 12 foot crappy stalker to start so we can reach the center. But if they're just tiny fish, we might switch to a 10 foot to fish closer to the bank. But before we get that started, let's go ahead and do this, the unboxing. Hopefully there's some stuff in here we can use. If not, I have my other gear for it. I do get kind of frustrated with their with their freshwater stuff sometimes because they don't always give you like jig heads. Like they'll give you a whole bunch of soft plastics and then no hooks or jig heads to use them with. And I'm like, how am I supposed to fish these? You know, granted, these aren't supposed to be like a type of challenge. All right, so we got black and yellow there. Those look good. This might work good too. I'm not real sure. I've never used a trout slug. That's very, very interesting. These look pretty good too. These uh, very tiny things. Then we got a spinner and a, it's like a jig of some sort. The thing that we're gonna do is since they don't, once again, no hooks is we might start with this yellow and black tail. If not, I might just tie on one of my baits first just to see if there's even fish here, which is what I might do. I'm, actually, I am going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and tie on one of mine so I have a jig head tied on, and then we'll go from there. I'm thinking a chartreuse minnow to start with. I'm thinking we have a little bit of wind, so I'm thinking maybe 1 16th of an ounce. I think 130 seconds might be a little too light, but uh, I also don't know how deep it is. So I'll get this rigged up and then uh, we'll get to it. All right, guys, we're gonna start with this black and yellow to start out with, just because I actually forgot to take the stuff out of my book bag. We've got this rigged on a 12 foot cane pole. So let's see how it goes. I don't feel the bottom yet, so I can't tell how deep it is. Feels pretty deep. Well. well that was quick. We are snagged on a on a tree root well that was a quick snag but we will retie and try that again all right guys we are re-rigged up i put a lighter weight this time just because that seemed like it was sinking a bit fast even for the kind of water we're fishing in and the wind conditions 
I want to be able to kind of control this a bit. And just kind of low, slowly lift it up. Like I said, I've never fished here before, so I have no idea what to expect. A little nibble. Getting pops on the tail. Getting some little nibbles. There we go. Looks like we got a little warm mouth. So, got us a little warm mouth on the black and yellow. So I guess, or is this a mud sunfish? This might be a mud sunfish. I'm not sure. Look how red his gills are. Pretty little guy. I'm gonna let him go. Again, guys, well, you weren't, you haven't seen this video yet, but can't get to the water because a three foot step down to nothing to step on to so well let's see if we can get something else let's try over here towards this side got a little nibble already there we go oh, little flyer or is that a crappy I couldn't tell if that was a fly or a crappy, guys. It's like a little flyer. They're going for this thing like crazy, though. There we go. Finally got us a little. Finally got us a nice little crappy. Oh, crappy. Sorry, nice little flyer. Been a while since I've seen one of them. Alright, so we're going to change this and we're going to go to what I said earlier. A chartreuse minnow that I got. We could try another one of the ones that gave us in the box, like that tiny clear one. I guess we could try, but I don't know how clear is going to work in such um, stained water. But we can try it real quick because, I mean, what have we got to lose? We're gonna try this clear curly tail. Hopefully it gets us a, it, it is nice because it is so small. If they go for the tail, they're probably gonna get the hook too because it's so small. But only one way to find out. Yeah, it works. So. Nice little, nice little flyer here. Little guy, but he counts. He's trying his best to grow and I'm just being annoying with hooks in his mouth, you know? Doing what people do best.
That was a pretty solid tap. That's a bit more solid than the past few hits. So we're changing to these Crypto Chartreuse Paddle Tails. I've fallen in love with these baits, and you'll find out next Thursday why. I went down to a creek that you guys have never seen, that I had never fished with, with those. It's my first time using them, and we just slayed the fish. And I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Because this is actually a week after that. There we go. All rigged up. We're probably going to get quite a few short strikes on this too. I had that issue at the other spot as well, but this thing just looks so good in the water. Come here, little dude. Come here. Oh, come here. Another little mud sunfish, guys. Oh. Another little mud sunfish, and he is ready to go. Interesting. I think we're going to be almost calling it here in a minute, guys, because I am running out of time. Tiny little flyer. Absolutely tiny little guy. But he counts. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to wrap all my stuff up first. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to head across the road and see if we can get to the other side of this creek. See guys, this side looks much, much deeper, but in turn, it's much, much snaggier. So what we're gonna do is just fish right next to the bank here. I'm something. All right, guys, we're gonna try this 10 footer instead. See if we can get a little bit more control with it. See if we can get it to reach out a bit further. The idea is just a vertical jig it right here. See if we can get a hold of something a little bit bigger.
got something, guys. We got something. See if we can get this back. We got us a little flyer on the red. Whatchamacallit. Little teeny tiny red flyer on a little big, look how greedy he is, size comparison. Little greedy little devil. All right, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this copper and light hackle peacock. Um, Kabari kind of style fly. A very, very short Tinkara rod. This one's like three feet long, which is like a foot and a half a liter. And hopefully that'll be enough for us to kneel down here and bow and arrow cast out into this little mud puddle. Oh, what in the world? What happened to my rod? Hmm, interesting. We're just gonna let it sink and just kind of tap it up and down. Wait a minute, what is going on? Is rod broken? Oh, we got a fish. Tiny little guy. Little flyer. Oh, he came off. We had a little fly. I'm trying to figure out what's up with this rod. It sounds like it has a piece that's broken out of it. But it feels like maybe the lot the rod is getting. Yeah, this is broken. This one. When I tilt it one direction, it comes out. Oh no, the tip's just loose. There we go. Kept wondering what that noise was. There we go. All right, now let's try to get us a fish. There we go. Nice little flyer. Really fun on this super tiny rod. Rod is literally, oh, oh, oh. Tiny, tiny rod. But it's good to have one this short. I'm been, I wanted to upgrade my small rod arsenal because this one's got a cracked handle. And it's great in little situations like this. Nice little flyer. So if this, that's why I was not too worried about fishing this rod here. Because if I do hook into something that breaks it, I'm not going to be mad because, you know, it's already broken. Yeah, I mean, that little fish put up a nice little fight. There we go. Another nice little. Nice little flyer. Another nice little guy. Had a hit, but he missed the hook. This is still a fairly large hook for these fish. Really should be using a tiny, tiny hook, but. I'm too lazy for all that. There we go. Another tiny little guy. Still gotta fight him pretty hard with this, cause All right. Another 
another tiny little crop uh, crappie. I keep wanting to call him crappie. Tiny little flyer. There we go, got another one. Another little, little flyer. Swallowed it too. Another little guy. We're gonna see if maybe we can get one more over here and then we're gonna go, actually, you know what? We're gonna go back to the other side and just play with this rod over there for a minute. We were getting a bunch of bites over there that we were missing the hook sets of. I figured, why not go ahead and play around with this for a few minutes. See if we can get a bit of revenge. There we go. Well guys, I think we're gonna call this video here. I can promise you, because I've already done it, next week's video is, to me, much more entertaining than this week i went and i found a creek and just from the moment of getting there fish were just popping off the first trip wasn't as good this was actually last week so like it's going to be a little confusing because this video was made after i filmed the other one so if that if you dang i can't get this to go down oh well i don't need it to uh so anyway Anyways, guys, like I was saying, um, next week's video is a banger, and I definitely, definitely recommend on Tuesday's video when we're Tankara fishing, because that was the... Ugh. Hold on, guys, let me get you to my... All right, guys, what I was trying to say is Next week's video is definitely a lot more interesting than this one, in my opinion. This was really cool, though, being able to try a new spot and, you know, actually catch some fish that were, you know, small, but at least they're moving around again, which means most likely our normal spot is probably popping off pretty good right now. I haven't hit the swamp in a while. This is the closest I've been to it, and this is like 20 miles away from where I normally fish, so it is what it is. But yeah, next week, like I, I don't know if I'm I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier, but I did either catch my PB bluegill or I caught one very close to my PB bluegill as the last catch of the day at a new spot. And then I went back the following day with the cane pole and just slayed the fish. Like it was a blast. Like every time the 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 the, the little minnow would hit the water, it hit the water go wiggle 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 and then bam it was crushed and that's it was it was a ton of fun but uh but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video like comment share subscribe yo here's another spot be giving that one a try soon too but uh if you enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe and i will uh i'll catch you guys on the next one and uh in the meantime 